Kinchadze was in control. Way up in the air, he sent the Ukrainian. He only ended up with two on that particular turn of events, but he stayed with him. Little did we know at the time, he wasn't done. He had thoughts of ending it early, and that's exactly what he did. Trapped that arm, rolled over the Ukrainian, and ended it with five seconds on the clock. Technical superiority and a bronze medal for Georgia. Let's go gold. Frank Chimizo, Italy. Zelimakan Kajiev, France. France and Italy for gold at 74. If you're not familiar with Frank Chimizo, one of the best defensive wrestlers, if not the best defensive wrestler in the world, and no matter how deep you think you are in on your shot until you see or hear that referee give the two, you're not safe with Frank Chimizo. It's going to be interesting to see what strategy that Kajiev goes with from France. Remember yesterday, he had that big win against the Georgian we just saw in Kinchadze, won by criteria, three to three. So one thing for France and Kajiev, he was able to slow down that offense that we just saw unleashed by Kinchadze. How does he handle the approach with Chimizo, the two-time world champion, one of the sport's biggest stars, a Rio Olympic bronze medalist as well. Chimizo in the red for Italy, Kajiev of France in the blue. Kajiev is an interesting story. He came to France from Russia during his childhood. Moved to France as a young boy. In some trouble early. Chamizo up with the two. Immediately on to the legs, jumps back up to the waist. Wasting no time to grab the early edge. And Chamizo is not only a mystery from the defensive position, but he is a mystery because he has the ability to change his style of wrestling like nobody I've seen. I was having a conversation earlier today with a few members of our staff and it did not look to me that Chimizo was really wrestling that Chimizo style. He likes to have wrestlers in on his legs. He likes to have slow paces of the match, but there you see he comes out firing and now this, this Chimizo could be one of the most dangerous wrestlers if he could keep this up because you don't you don't see it too often. You don't know who to game plan for. Which one to prepare for, the defensive-minded Chimizo or the one we're watching in this first period where he is coming after you? And Kajiev right now, no answer for France, down four nothing. Chimizio plays fifth in Budapest, but remember he, his only matches that he lost were to the eventual world champion Sitikov and the four-time world and Olympic champ Jordan Burroughs from the United States. Blue the white, at the blue. And of course, coming down from, or excuse me, coming up from 70 kilos two years ago in Paris where he defeated James Green of the United States in the 70 kilo world finals, comes up to 74, and him and Jordan Burroughs had that back-to-back -back banter on social media. Frank Chimizo coming with the crown emoji saying, um, I'm the king here. And those two, of course, wrestled three times last year at the Beat the Streets. They wrestled at the Yasser Dogu and, of course, in the World Bronze Medal match. So a rivalry for the ages if Frank Chimizo decides to stay at 74, which is the Olympic weight, so you have to imagine he's going to do so. Yeah, he's going to be here for the next couple of years, gearing up for Tokyo in 2020. 4 nothing lead for the two-time world champion, Olympic bronze medalist Frank Chimizo. He's in hunt of his third European championship. One gold at this Invitational back in 16 and 17. In on another attack in a position to get two more. Secure it up, put it on the board. Two for Chimizo, six nothing. And normally when you trail Chimizo two or three nothing, it's more like a seven, eight point deficit because he's that tough. So you're looking at a 
six point climb here. This is a real, real precarious spot if you're France. And you, okay. sorry, no, go, go ahead. You mentioned the Frank Chimiza winning two European titles, but even more impressive no, than that, no, no, he not only did it twice, but he did so at two different weight classes. He won that 2016 European title at 65, then bumped up to 70 kilos and now is at 74. So to see a transition from three different weight classes is something we've never seen before. You look at the, the likes of Frank Stabler from a Greco-Roman standpoint, and he was able to do so, but the way he did it was with the weight changes, one or two kilo difference, never totally different weight classes. So Frank Chimizo, the, the style just transfers. It doesn't matter what weight class you're at. Attention. Yeah, you mentioned Stabler and that story he put together last year in Budapest. We weren't even sure if he was going to wrestle. And we should mention he's not wrestling here because the weight class where he is at, 72 kilos, not an Olympic weight class, can't go up to 77 with the depth of 77. He just, the German, we'll say a couple of the German fans here said, we don't even know if he would make it to the Olympic Games at 77 kilos. So what he's gonna do is drop down a weight class from 72 to 67. So he's in that process of trying to get down to that weight. One of the uh, more popular wrestlers always puts on a show. He's meant for the TV camera, no doubt about it. All right, so is Chimizo. He has been on fire in this championship bout. Look at him drag the French wrestler back into the center. France was so close to getting away there. Chimizo secured that leg, brought him back into the center, and now in control, 8-0. Kajiev, he pushed the rewind button to 2014. He became a part of French wrestling history. He had a 4-1 decision in the 74 kilo gold medal match to become France's first ever champion in the men's events at the Junior Wrestling World Championships. The only other medal for France in the Junior Worlds happened back in 1980. It was a bronze, so. Kadjiev appears to be getting back on track. That was in 2014, and prior to this bout running into a buzzsaw with Chimizo, he had looked good in his three previous matches, but today having a tough time getting some offense, and maybe more importantly, caught a little bit off guard by the Chimizo offense that he has unleashed. mentioned Kajiev coming over from Russia. Chimizo coming over from Cuba. Did win a world medal for Cuba. And then I believe the story was married an Italian woman, so moved over there with her, which is where he received his citizenship and the rest is history. Won a couple of world titles for the Italians. Yeah, that was a world bronze when he started his career with Cuba. And it's always good to follow where the lady takes you. In this particular case, it took him to Italy. Chimizo is going to get it done. Not one, not two, but three European championships for Franck Chimizo, Italy. And the winner is Franck Chimizo Marquez from Italy. Dominated, start to finish, eight nothing.